Guys, I just watched the second, rather part two of the first debate, and I want to say my thoughts on it. I have less thoughts than last time, believe it or not, because um, this one which was much more chaotic, and it made it seem it's harder. It seems like it's not like one person gets an award. It's more like pe many people are tied. So I mean, I mean that's what makes it harder to choose. But I would say that the dark horse is Mar Marianne Williamson. I knew about all the candidates, but many people p were probably like, Mar Marianne Williamson, who the hell is that? But they see, and she's this really spiritual, moral person, really extreme in that, so she'll be remembered. The fallen horse, Joe Biden. Oh, he got taken down by Kamala Harris. He really did. Uh-uh. <laughs> he really did get taken down by her. Because I remember she was talking about the... um. She was talking about how the school busing, and he look, he, the look on his face was just a serious regret. He got hammered for the school busing because, believe it or not, he believed in the segregated busing in the 70s. And, and in 75, he actually signed it to act in the Senate that he voted for that. Um, he also got hammered on top of the head, with a little actual hammer, uh, by voting for the Iraq War. So he really, he's going to go down in the polls a bit. Not too much, though. Um, the, um, we have Dark Horse, Fallen Horse, oh yeah, winner, Kamala Harris, actually, she did much better than I thought, um, she would. I thought it was gonna be Bernie Sanders, um, but it actually was Kamala Harris. Doesn't mean I'm supporting her, it just means that she was, uh, in fact, the winner of this debate. Um, it was very interesting, uh, I'm, I'm so glad that nobody spoke Spanish, that was, in the last debate, everybody was speaking Spanish, it was so annoying. I mean, Castro, he can do it. He's Mexican. He was Mexican-born. He's Mexican-blooded. But Beto and Booker were just doing this horrible, uh, horrible attempt of speaking Spanish. And to them, it's like, yeah, we're going to be making Latinos support us. But for us, it's just pure. For us Americans, and I'm actually part Latino, um, although I feel more white than Latino, it is true. I mean, imagine how they feel. Imagine how how manipulated Latinos feel. I mean, even I feel like they're trying to manipulate Latinos, and it's so obvious that when they're speaking, you're like, oh, I know exactly what they're doing. So good thing there was none of that in this debate. Um, I don't have any more rewards. They were, I'm gonna say, a sleepy award. Uh, the, sle um, the sleepy award has got to go. I don't know if it should be a sleepy award or a loser award. I say, it's got to be. John Hickenlooper. It's gotta be. I mean, he tried so hard. No, him and Kirsten Gillibrand. They both tried incredibly hard to... They're both tied for loser. Loser. They, they both tried incredibly hard to smear Sanders. Whenever Sanders would speak, they both interrupt him and say, Oh, socialism, socialism, socialism. But then Sanders would speak about it. And um, Sanders didn't do a good job defending himself. He's good at speaking, but he isn't good defending himself. But Hickenlooper and... Gillibrand, I mean, come on. You guys can't just speak out against socialism and expect to not get any backlash. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video, guys, and bye.